The highest peak in Cebu, Philippines is Osminia Peak in De La Get. <laughs> Just kidding guys, that's just what all the vloggers say in their thumbnails so you'll click it. The actual highest peak in Cebu is Mount Manungal in Balamban, a breathtakingly beautiful spot that most foreign tourists to the island miss because it just isn't being talked about as much as its shorter cousin in the south. Up to this point, Mount Manungal has been our favorite peak in Cebu, possibly all of the Philippines that we've seen so far. But then we came to North Cebu and started hearing rumors that the second tallest peak in Cebu, though not as tall, has an even more exaggerated and beautiful view than Mount Manungal itself. Could this be true? Of course we needed to find out. We took off the first sunny day we got, headed toward the town of Katmon, North Cebu, looking for how to get to the second tallest peak in Cebu, the tallest peak in North Cebu, Mount Capayas. This week in the northern part of the Philippines, typhoons have been ravaging Luzon, leaving multiple municipalities flooded, people losing their homes. Truly a tragedy what's happening up there right now. But amazingly, somehow, here in the center of the country, in Cebu, it has barely rained at all, all week. And today we've actually got probably the nicest day we've seen in weeks. So we're gonna take advantage of it and head to some spots that we've wanted to do for a while, but the rains were keeping us from doing. Today's an adventure day, so strap in and let's wonder. We are deep in Katmon. In North Cebu, we've gone past Tinubdan Falls, Kangangawan Falls, all the stuff we recommended up here, and we're still going. We've still got 30 minutes more, apparently, according to the GPS. Hills and the valleys, it's so beautiful here in Katmon. As we headed deeper into the bowels of Katmon than we had ever been before, we found that it only slowly got more and more beautiful until we finally broke out from the forest to find ourselves driving on a perfectly paved road on the top of a mountain. Wow, I can't believe that it just turned into like a beautiful, nicely paved road. Wow, it feels like we're on top of the blue side. So we actually realized a little while ago that we missed our turn to go to Mount Capayas, but we just kept going because we've ended up in one of the most beautiful places really that I've ever seen on the island. We filmed a lot of it on the GoPro, but it's just randomly in the middle of the island. We're between two municipalities right now. There's this beautifully paved road. It looks like a highway. You're up on top of the mountains. You can see both sides. It is so beautiful. So we still need to find the actual Mount Capayas, but I'm not disappointed with what we have found. That's for sure. Isai's gonna drive us so I can film. Pray for me. This is just the view as you're driving this whole road. You're on top of the mountain. You can see everything. I feel like I've never seen something like this. The closest is Balamban. 
but this is something else. Honestly guys, we drove around this area for a while, having so much fun. There was almost no one else here, only a couple other motorbikes passing us every now and then. We think we had actually slipped into the municipality of Tuburan, and after seeing this, we absolutely need to come back. Okay, we're really having a lot of fun up on this road. We've gotta actually try to find Mount Capayas now. We think we're supposed to go off this little road over here. So we had made it to the end of the beautiful magical road in like heavenville of beauty. Ooh. I don't know what I'm even saying. It's beautiful here. And <laughs> it just ended. And Izai asked these people that were sitting there, Mount Capayas. And I was right. I kept pointing to this mountain. I'm like, that's it. I feel like it. But it's still so far away. They said that there is a path to it from where we were, but it's way too far, way too long of a path. And there's another jump off point. So we're making our way back toward there now. Okay, so we got to this point where the road like ends. It, this is not, I'm not driving that. That's not drivable. And this sign says no tourists going past here. So we went back and asked these people there and they said that they can guide us there, but it's another like 40 minutes to an hour walk. We're already far away from the main road, but we're gonna do it. We came all the way up here. All we have to eat are apples and some water. I, I'm just, I'm more worried about like us not having enough food, but I think we'll be all right, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully this vlog isn't titled like we pass out on Mount Kapayas, but Oi Pututka, Pututka Ayo Dogi, just like me. And so the long hike began. Honestly, we had no idea what we were getting into. The path to the peak is very rough and almost constantly uphill for at least an hour. <sighs> Still have a long way to go. We're just catching our breath. We'll head to our destination. Hopefully we will be able to if we're not too tired to do it. Oh, you think we'll die on the way? You will die. What? <laughs> that peak there that you're seeing, that's where we're going. That's Mount Capayas. We have come pretty far. I don't know how close we are, but we're on our way. <laughs> I'm sweating like crazy. I was carrying the bag before and I'm like, oh my God, dude, I'm gonna die. I'm out of shape, guys. I have a quarantine bod, <sighs> need to work out more. Hopefully it's all worth it. And it's Nindor Gayo. Sigi, tana.
view is crazy. And on top of that, it's so peaceful here. There's pretty much nobody here, even though it's a Saturday. We didn't know if there'd be people here or not. We're like, it's a really nice day out. Everyone might have just gone to the beach today, which is probably what happened. <laughs> so we might have gotten lucky on this one. All right, I think we're good. I could just sit here all day and get a ton of shots, but you guys get it. It's a very beautiful spot and definitely 100% worth coming to. But there might be an easier way. I'll talk about that when I get back down. <laughs> Maybe you don't have to come. Well, we came the scenic route. Maybe you want the scenic route. So Ezai's telling me that the guide said that you're actually supposed to go to the municipal hall of Katmon when you want to come here and they'll give you a guide. It's more because they just want to make sure that everyone going up here is safe because the path is long and it is, um, I don't want to say it's treacherous, but something could happen. It's long enough that you never know. We're finally almost back. It's a long hike, man. It's like a good hour plus each way, depending on your speed. If you're not in good shape, don't attempt this. I'm serious. I was telling Isa this is the first time in my life I'm feeling all 27, almost 28 years of my life. Guys, there's just wild turkey. I've never seen a turkey in the Philippines before. Bruh. Oi, you want to be my dinner? Almost Thanksgiving! Huh? Hike for more. I got very dirty. I needed this sapa. Sapa is the uh, it's the little it's the little river. Right? Just the little river? Pond. This I is know. not a pond. I know. This is by far the most exhausted I've been from any adventure we've had in North Cebu so far. Izai seems to be handling it totally fine. She's like, I'm not tired at all. I don't know what's wrong with you, but I am dead. So I need comfort food right now. Look, they have these things now. Should I try? Mmm, I don't know. After Jollibee, we drove straight home. We were exhausted, but also thoroughly satisfied with the day's adventure. Mount Kapayas not only met our expectations, it blew straight past them, becoming easily our favorite peak in Cebu. It may not be an easy hike, but it's more than worth the struggle to experience the magic of North Cebu's highest peak.